Welcome back, Scallywags, Marine Morning. Tech Mike and Art. How you guys doing? We are talking about solving the mystery of this flooded engine. Yes. Turns exactly. out. So storyline is we were here and Art, independent of me, yep. I was doing my own thing and you came in and what did you see? You well, what was your first question? I said, well, has the boat been towed? <laughs> did they ever go for, uh, did somebody tow the boat? Because with a boat that had, like this, that has a water lift muffler, it's very common for them to be flooded when they're towed. Yeah. So our friend Bob had this issue. Yeah, a friend of mine. Justin O'Connor right around the, or in Portland. Yeah, he flooded it in the Columbia River uh, a few years back. He was stranded. He couldn't get the engine to start. He was upriver, called for sea tow. They towed him back to his waterfront home yeah. his, on his houseboat. And uh, the next morning, he's like, the engine won't start. It won't roll. And, and it found that the engine was full of water. Right. And he saved his, didn't he? Fresh water. He Fresh saved water. it. He acted right away. And I'm sure that that didn't feel good. But <laughs> he uh, he runs it every summer and it's still the same engine. So lucky him. Yeah. So the the, the information from the Facebook groups, the owners group, stuff like this is is a, is clear. There's um, I got instant messages and stuff that these these any this boat cut water any boat forward facing scoops with water lift mufflers yeah if the, the water lift muffler is the key and knowing your boat is the key um it wouldn't hurt in my opinion used to do search and rescue in the coast guard we t i towed a lot of boats a long time ago it was not uncommon for us to go on and close sea valves um, if the owner couldn't do it, I was the guy that usually would drop off on the boat to ride with it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we would go in there and close anything that was open to the sea just so that we didn't accidentally flood something. Right. What is the, uh, the does there something in that log book about maybe being? Yeah, towed? so it turns out we teach all of our students and how they should probably read the instructions. And, sure. yeah. you yeah. know, I didn't, I didn't have instructions for the boat, but I did have a ship's log. 100% on me, mm -hmm. um, I talked to the donor. And I had opened the ship's log. It had this little strap in here, and I had seen, you know, cruises and all these things like this. And I saw at the end, 675 hours, last cruise of the day. And I had opened it up and saw some of the, you know, it had maintenance. Great, we got a log book. A log book. We'll study it later. Maintained by the owner, yep. Start filming, asking questions and everything. If we would have, if I would have looked on the last page of the log, they stick together, turn one page, engine in up, boat US towed the Lady M from Port Ludlow to Port Townsend for a haul out. Yep. Right there, the faithful last trip under tow. Mm -hmm. And so. And the mm -hmm. driving force of what caused that to not start could have been something as simple as a defective or an out of position or a neutral safety switch. That's what got Bob down in the Columbia River. If he'd have yeah. just jiggled his throttle and tried to start the engine again, he probably would have started the engine and would have been fine. Yeah. So it'd have been it's a funny story, but yeah, yeah, wouldn't it be? So some expensive things have happened with yeah. these issues, and so now we're just on the quest for what are we going to do? Repower? Because repower, got to find the right engine for it. Turns out the Yanmar from the Yanmar Group, they no longer make this one. Sure. Yeah. Well, it was a yeah. So what do we do now? Can we get parts? We rebuild, repower, switch. The one in Maine that's for sale is Volvo. I don't know. So lots of questions to be asked, but at least we know going forward what happened and we can make good decisions from sure. here forward. And this is the importance if you own one of these and in, in, the, in the moment of I'm getting towed or whatever, have a checklist. And if you know ahead of time that your boat needs to have that valve closed, put that in the checklist. And then yeah. when something happens, open the book and follow your checklist, you'll be less likely yes. to forget. Because if it's a rough day and you plug a fuel filter and you're getting a tow, without a checklist, there's a good chance you're gonna forget. Um, absolutely. Yes. So yeah. checklist yeah. would be fantastic in these situations. Exactly. So, and then just, you gotta remember to follow it. So that should be part of your routine. So, so. thanks for watching. We'll keep you posted on what's next okay. on the Lady M. Good luck. Thanks. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out.